Hi everybody, Harry Cullinane here with LE Publishing. I'm very pleased to be able to uh, join you at the virtual conference uh, today. And uh, I am based in Milan, uh, in Italy, and I am with LE Publishing. And I have chosen as my, my topic, uh, my mini topic, if you like, today, uh, fun with young learners and ESP, of course, okay, just to make it as large as possible. Um, but uh, fun with young learners, one of the reasons why I chose the fun aspect um, in the title of the talk was because I recently uh, did a project with uh, some pupils based in a uh, middle school here in Italy, okay, in Naples. And um, so, uh, like I said, I'm based in Milan. I did this project. It was actually a reader's project with this school in Naples. Uh, in central Italy and it was because it was uh, at distance okay it was again over the PC while we were in lockdown in Italy um, the I, I thought it was very important to make the lessons as as fun as possible okay and even though it was like a reading project we were using using graded readers it, we you know as much as possible we did make it turn out to be fun lessons okay and one of the ways I noticed for it, uh, for it to be fun for everybody was uh, I, I, I gave them, uh, the students there, they were 11, 12 year old students, they were very curious about me. Um, they wanted to know why I was in Italy, uh, what, you know, how many years, what brought me to, to Italy and so on. So because they were so curious, and, you know, have an experience of dealing with uh, pupils at that age. I, I was quite aware they'd be very curious and they want to know as much as me as well. They wanted to know as much as me about me as possible. Uh, I prepared some stuff about myself uh, and my life and my family and, and so on. So, um, you know, I was just going to replicate some of those things that I did with the pupils in Naples, I was going to replicate some of those things here today on my PowerPoint, okay? So I've got my PowerPoint. Uh, I'm going to skip along and um, I'm also going to use the digital book. So uh, let me see if I can get my PowerPoint going here and we should be okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I just you know took out some of the things which were very relative to my life. Uh, so for example, uh, where I'm based in Milan uh, and this is the, the famous um, cathedral in Milan, the Duomo, um, very beautiful building, and it's like the icon of, of Milan, uh, or one of the many icons of Milan, but this is the most famous one, of course. Um, and of course, the Milanese people are very uh, proud about their cathedral, the Duomo, and it was the same for the, the students in Naples. They were very, you know, proud about their city, uh, and the subject we were doing it was about, a, the reader was about... Um, a, a boy looking for a cat in Istanbul. So we got talking about cities, um, and you know the, the, the conversation was was really good with the with, with these pupils. Uh, we were talking about the cities, populations of cities, cultures of cities, uh, and so on. But again, sticking to you know the idea of family, um, I, I spoke a lot about my family, and it was almost like they got to know. Uh, my, my children, uh, above all. So, you know, I told, you know, I spoke to them a lot about Emma, uh, my daughter Nina, and of course my boy Charlie, my son Charlie, and um, the fact that, you know, he is the same age as some of the pupils that we were doing this project with, with um, it really kind of hit home with the, um, with the pupils, the students, okay? Um, and of course, I also included uh, our family pet, Eloise, our cat, Okay. And so, again, you know, this was another aspect that which, you know, it really opened up things for them because uh, they spoke to me a lot about their pets, uh, about their family. And of course, because it is family, I think we have to be very careful about how we approach the topic of family. OK, and this is something I wanted to underline also with you today. You know, I mean, you could cut, this is my family here. Maybe you would describe that as a traditional family, um, a mother and a farmer with three children. Um, and, you know, a traditional family and modern families and, you know, the difference in families, you know, even the fact that here in Italy there are different approaches there. Okay, so it's something we have to be very careful about when we're talking about family. And again, this is what I wanted to, one of the things I wanted to underline to you today about you know, doing this with young learners, if they're preparing for the exam, or even if it's not an exam lesson, okay, if it's primary, 
Okay, just kind of some of the things to approach and bear in mind when we are dealing with the topic of family, okay? But um, again, it was a real, you know, the uh, speaking about my cat, Louise, that was a real kind of, you know, they really warmed to that. And uh, they, they, were, they were bringing in pictures and sending pictures of their pets at home, okay? But uh, yeah, just going, moving on, um, you know, this is like a typical, Typical. This is from our uh, course, uh, Young Learner, uh, Young Learner course book start, um, which has just come out this year. And one of the things I like about the approach we've taken here is the unit, the actual didactic unit, uh, is very short. It's not too long. Okay, uh, it's like a double page spread twice over. So you've got one double page here, and you've got a second double page here, and within those four pages you've got all the lexical uh, sets that you need at this particular level let's say so people who are kind of preparing students who are preparing for the starter exam if you like um uh, they, 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 they've got everything they need here across the four pages and of course you know if we go over if i show you the digital version which the, the pupils have on their on their phone or on their pc or the teacher in the classroom um it, it adds a lot of uh, extra uh, input that the students really relate well to. But again, just, you know, looking at the double page spread here, you can see the keywords here, mother, fa mom, father, dad, grandfather, grandpa. Um, and, you know, it, we've put it into a context here. We've given them names um, so that, you know, the, the students can match the names to the pictures and they can start to get a feel for the people here in the unit. OK. Um, and, you know, they'll see those characters as they go throughout the, the, the book when they're using this book. OK, so it's not just a one off. They'll come back. They'll see the same uh, characters again and they start to get a feel for the characters in the book. OK, uh, and here um, a day with my family and there's lots of activities to go with this uh, in the, the pupil book and in the activity book. And here you put it into kind of exam practice. OK. And I can show you very quickly just what I mean by the, the digital version, which is here. And hopefully you can see this. This is, this is a screencast. Um, I'm recording on screencast. And um, also my colleague is not here to help me. She's the, green, the screencast expert. Um, so hopefully I won't break anything uh, while we're doing this and that everything will be fine. But, you know, again, if I open up an activity here, you can say, you know, the you won't be able to read all of this. I can see some of this is getting cut out, but you know, it says read the text, look at the picture, match each name to the right person. And you know, you've got um, the full kind of context here. Hi, I'm Ava. Today's dad's Bertie. Um, and so grandpa's here. Uh, grandpa's name is Bill. And as they go through, they've got the, the as they go through the, the activities, they can match the names of the people here. So uh, number four, you know, they can choose the name and put in the, the correct name as they're going through the activity. OK, uh, let me see if I can somehow No, I, I don't want to mess about too much with the screencast because, like I said, I I'm afraid I'm going to do something which is not going to work out properly. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. OK, um, but again, this is the digital version and all of the, the activities that you can see here, you know, it makes it kind of having the digital version alongside you in the classroom makes it so much easier to kind of interact with the, the, the students and the pupils. And you've got, for example, the listening, you know, here. Uh, and you can, you know, just drag and drop the, 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 the answers to the activities here. OK, uh, and you, the teacher, you've got the keys to the activities. OK, so at the stroke of a button, you can see um, everything that the student needs in the classroom while they're doing this activity. OK, so um, let me uh, just move on to the next page because, you know, like I said, it was just four pages uh, for each unit in this uh, in this pupils book. OK, talking about family and um, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint for a second. OK, um, and like I said, the. This is something that I approached very carefully with the pupils when I was doing this, when we we're talking about family and introducing myself, just because, you know, families, um, there are so many different types of families now. OK, there's the traditional family plus others. OK, so it's just something to bear in mind. And another approach you can take with uh, 
speaking about families, if you like, is, you know, putting it into like a, um, into a fairy tale type scenario, okay? And here we have, uh, you know, this is like, well, more like primary, but again, it's young learners. We're in the, the sphere of young learners, okay? Um, here we have like, you know, instead of the traditional family, we've got a fairy tale family, Goldilocks, okay? And the bear family. So this is completely neutral, you know, the, the kids really are going to really warm to this. They're going to really like this. Um, there's not... You know the teacher can has a bit more freedom about when dealing with the the topic of family here okay of course there are the parts with granddad grandma and so on um but you'll see as you go through this type of material that there's a lot more freedom for the teacher uh when she's talking about or when the teacher is talking about family okay and um one thing i i wanted to point out also was this like draw and complete and say and, you know, I think, you know, if you photocopied this and give this to the students like two or three times, they would come back every single time with a different um, family member. Uh, and, you know, you'd be ama amazed the, 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 the drawings that they're going to come back with um, using using this. Um, sorry, the phone went there. Using using this material. OK. And if you photocopy it, like I said, um, and give it to them, you know, not just once, but twice, they, they come back with a different drawing each time, okay? And, um, you know, they might put in their pets, if we're talking about pets, because we're looking at the bears here, okay? It's the bear family. So, you know, it really stimulates their imagination when it comes to um, talking about families and, and so on, okay? So just, you know, as I go through this particular uh, unit here, and you can see there's like a, a lot of storytelling uh, which makes it really interesting to uh, listen to the story. Again, it's in the digital book. You can do that. And um, one of the things I really like about it is that it finishes with like a CLIL activity. Okay, so um, you've got the family, young learner, syllabus, uh, and yet the unit finishes out with like a CLIL activity. And um, in this particular instance, the, uh, the pupils, they have to decide between a living animal or non-living so they've got like a doll here okay and they just click down here for the uh you know the toy living non-living is it a tortoise they've got a little bird there's like a little lizard and so on so um blending in like a clear activity with what they have just done in the the pupils book um it's really sweet okay and i think you know they will really uh well you know they relate to it really well uh, and i think as a teacher you would have a lot of fun doing that with the pupils in the classroom, okay? Uh, so, yeah. Um, so when I'm saying fun, this is what I mean, okay? Just trying to bring a bit of real life in this instance, clear. But uh, at the beginning, I mentioned how I approached the lesson with family. I spoke a lot about my family, uh, my immediate family, about me, okay? Because they're very curious. They want to know a lot about the teacher, especially, you know, if you're uh, a subsidy teacher, um, and uh, coming in to do special prep, if you like, okay? They really, really want to know a lot about you. So, you know, I, I spoke to them. About, I come from Ireland. I gave them a lot of detail about my life in Ireland, my life in Milan, comparing Milan with Naples. The book we were using was about, like I said, a reader about this boy looking for a cat in Istanbul. And lots of ways you can, you know, manipulate and use that um, material to make it fun with your pupils in class okay and again that was i did everything over the pc okay i did everything over the pc and we did it on a friday morning two hours each time for a total of six hours okay uh and just you know the material i was using was just you know a reader uh, a graded reader so here you've got like full units with interactive uh materials that you can play with, uh, and use in the classroom um, and they come from these books here, okay? So we've got Start uh, by Ellie Publishing. We've got Move by Ellie Publishing. And the other one I thought was useful to look at today was, you know, the first level of our uh, new course book called The Story Garden. And we saw one or two of the digital components. And there's also like an app that comes with these books. And it's extreme. We've been using the app for quite some time here in Italy. And um, the, the pupils really love it, okay? Um, I said that I would speak also about ESP, okay, and what do I mean by ESP? I mean uh, English for special purposes, okay, and, you know, I, I can understand at times the uh, there is 
worry, uh, concern uh, from some teachers because they've been asked to do like an ESP course, okay? So it might be like business, you know, the classic ESP course is business and um, they have to go into a company and teach, you know, business people English, okay? And maybe they don't feel comfortable with that because they're not mother tongue teachers, okay? Um, or yeah, they're, you know, English is a second language, but they're qualified in teaching. And we have a lot of that here in Italy. There are lots and lots of teachers that are um, from Italy, born and bred in Italy, teaching English as a professionals. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's common occurrence to have uh, second language um, teachers teaching English in the classroom and to, prof to professionals. So in some instances, you know, when I do, when I've been speaking to those teachers, they feel a little anxious when they have to, when they, when they have to deal with like an ESP course. And I tell them, well, you don't need to be, okay? You really don't need to be because there is so much material out there. There's a plethora of material out there from various publishers available on websites across the web, including ourselves, Ellie Publishing. Um, and, you know, the material is ready-made. You don't have to do, make tailor-made lessons, ad hoc lessons at all. There's like, you know, in this particular series here, this ESP series, I think we have 11 or 12 titles, okay? And so if we take one, uh, for example, nursing. Now, like I said, I'm a mother tongue speaker. I come from Milan. Uh, I'm sorry, I come from Ireland. I live in Milan. And if I was asked to uh, produce and come up with material to English for nursing, for sure I would be in a lot of difficulty, okay? I would have a lot of a difficulty planning, putting together my material. But, you know, very simply, if I take a book, and in this case, English for Nursing or Flash on English for Nursing, you know, I've just made one copy here of a double page spread. And you can see there's, you know, literally everything you need in uh, these ESP books that are out there uh, readily available for you um, to make your lessons, well, let's say fun, because I know you don't say that uh, ESP is fun, but you can make it fun. You know, if it's business, um, you can get uh, business conversation material, and that's going to help you out in a myriad of situations in the company, or if you're dealing, you know, if it's a private student, whatever the situation might be, okay? Um, just so you know that there are lots and lots of materials and that we from Ellie Publishing are also produce a lot of material um, to make your job easier and let's say more fun in an ESP situation. So, you know, if I go down through this particular double page spread here, uh, careers in nursing, okay, you've got lots of kind of, um, well, lexical sets that, you know, easily sit into this um this uh, open close activity here and you've got the words here okay and you know this is the moment of uh, vaccinations and that's the first word I see on the page okay so vaccination phases respiratory disease um, where patients sleep in hospitals so uh, shift work so again it's all language which is common to this particular role professional role of nursing okay um, and, and like I said, the the series, the ESP series, which is there to help you, uh, there are many, many booklets, okay, uh, very simple to use, immediately available, and there are, I think, maybe 10, 11, 12 of them in the series. You can go onto the website and you can find information about those on the website, okay? I can tell you about the website now in a second. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is what I wanted to say to you today, okay? It's just the idea of fun in the young learner classroom there's lots of ways you can go about that by preparing your own material which i did with my group in naples and i i'm, I'm really i really enjoyed it okay i really did enjoy that uh it was a six hour program okay so clearly you know six hours you can do your own you can make your own materials if it's a longer course probably you're going to need some help uh, from the publishers and you know i showed you some of the material that we have available to help you out um, and the same with the ESP stuff here. Again, I would imagine with ESP, you don't want to be making up your own materials. You've got to go out there and uh, get materials which are available from the publishers. So I've showed you what we have made uh, available for you to make your life easier and a bit more fun in the ESP classroom. Okay. Um, I said our website where you can kind of get the, um, the list of our materials. It's elionline.com. 
okay and if you want to get in touch with us ellie okay you can contact us at international at ellieonline.com my name is harry cullinane uh, these are our social media pages at facebook youtube i think we've got instagram as well i uh, can't remember um, the last thing to say is just thank you very very much to the organizers for the invite today um, and to all of you for attending and taking the time to uh, see our presentation okay so thank you best wishes feel free to get in touch thanks